You should be hyped for Cassette Beasts. Yes, Cassette Beast is a monster taming RPG coming to Steam, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and even Xbox Game Pass. And as it stands, we don't have a ton of footage for the game, but from what I've seen, I can confidently say that this is gonna be quite the gem to say the least. Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome back to another You Should Be Hyped video where we take a step back and just fully appreciate various aspects of upcoming monster taming games and discuss the positives. Today's topic, of course, is Cassette Beast, a game I've been thoroughly looking forward to since its reveal last year. And we recently got a new trailer for the game, which is a great excuse to talk about it again. That said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. All right, so Cassette Beasts, despite what you may think at a first glance, is actually very different in how it executes its features than other games in the genre. Firstly, and most obviously, the game does play in a 2v2 format, which is by no means unique as we see that in games like Chain Monsters and Temtem, but where it actually does really stand out is its fusion mechanic, which allows for an insane amount of combinations depending on whom you are utilizing. Now, the way it sort of works is that every monster is monotyped and fusions are dual typed. It seems that the mechanic itself is going to come with its own flaws and benefits depending on how it's executed, since fusing is going to only let you attack once per turn, at least by the looks of it, and since it's two on two, you'll have to keep that in mind. Furthermore, being dual typed also opens you up to more weaknesses as well, so there's definitely gonna be a strategic element regarding when you should and shouldn't use it. The fusions themselves are really cool too, as they utilize an algorithm that allows for something like 14,000 combinations, and from what I've seen via their fusion demo on their website, a lot of them look really cool. Anyways, back to strategy, the game features a unique twist to the type chart dubbed Elemental Chemistry, which I think is a really unique and much needed change to the typical one type does more damage than the other type formula. The way the type chart in Cassette Beats works is that there are three main interactions that can occur. An advantageous matchup will result in the enemy receiving a debuff, so if you use, let's say, a water attack on a fire type, they may experience a stat loss. A disadvantageous matchup will give the defending monster a buff, so if you use a fire attack on a water type, you'll create steam buffing the water type in the process and most interestingly is transmutation which will transform a defending monster's type depending on the interaction. Let's say you use a fire type attack on an earth type, you could end up with a glass type. Speaking of which, the cassette beast type chart itself is really interesting in that it has a lot of cool types like beast, plastic, and glass, making it more unique than a typical elemental based chart that we often see. All that said, it's easy to see where the strategic part plays a role here as you may wanna, let's say, transform your enemy's type in order to make it disadvantageous to your second monster, then follow up in the same turn with an attack from there, or bait your enemy into using a specific attack which will end up giving you a buff via switching or stuff like that. You can also add stickers to your cassettes which then add an insane amount of customization. I will touch on that in a future video because it's too vast to include here. That said, stickers can add various passive abilities, actual attacks, and they come in different rarities. So you can just imagine the crazy amount of customization there. The unique aspects of cassette beasts don't just end at their monster design or type chart either. Evolution is also gonna be a bit more complex than most monster taming games. In cassette beasts, most evolutions will be branching paths. I don't think the trees themselves will be as intricate as let's say kindred fates but the varying branches will have their own unique reasons for why they go the way they do the game is also going to be open world so for you next month extinction lovers this one might be right up your alley as well on top of that there is going to be an underground area called the caves which are basically like a similar concept to the underground from gen 4 in that it's a labyrinth that exists under the region however this will be an area that contains high level monsters bosses and more Generally speaking, the caves will be utilized for side stuff, but some of the best items and monsters in the game seem to be down there as they're supposed to be this crazy high level challenge area where you can access at any time, but at your own risk. Other than everything I just mentioned, the game just looks so sharp and clean. It's bringing forth a lot of unique mechanics to the table, as we've mentioned, and what I've covered here is just the tip of the iceberg. There's bonding mechanics, special ways to traverse the region, a very intriguing premise with you trying to escape this island and more. On top of it bringing forth all of these unique mechanics and being from an established developing team who have already created a previous game, albeit not a monster taming game, but still a game that I've only heard good things about, the game seemingly has a similar open world and story context to a game like Nexamon, beautiful pixel art on par in terms of quality with games like Coromon, and all in all just looks like a good time. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the gist of it. Cassette Beast is really shaping up to be an exciting title worthy of everyone's attention. I think the steps the devs are taking to keep the game very unique is really going to 
to pay off in a big way. As someone who's been following the game's development since its initial reveal, I'm super excited and I don't know, maybe I'm just hyping up prematurely, but I really do expect great things here. That said, if you do want to stay up to date on both cassette piece information and the monster taming genre in general, definitely make sure to subscribe. We just hit 20,000 subscribers, which is absolutely nuts. This puts me at a loss of words. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to my Discord team, my patrons, and everyone that makes these videos possible just by watching, liking, and sharing, and subscribing. To be able to do this YouTube thing full time is honestly my dream, and you guys are helping me make that a reality one day at a time, and I can't thank you enough. That said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.